You don't have to do it alone. State of mind is always important in hospitality because so many people are affected by mental health issues. And I know over the last few years, you and I have had conversations where we've both gone, oh, you know, we need a little bit of help, especially during COVID when we were all in lockdown and isolation and we were getting used to that. Are there any tips that you would give anyone that's struggling at the moment? Not as a psychologist, but as a person that, uh, as a patient would say, uh, was a person that was struggling. I struggled a lot during the pandemic. Uh, you know that, Amy, and I, I already share a little bit, at least uh, LinkedIn. But when the pandemic starts, I, first of all, everybody was scared, of course, of what's going to happen. Uh, or dying like literally or like or like the jobs you know we were in the worst industry to be in when the pandemic with the pandemic you know travel and, and the hospitality industry anyway so it was really tough for me the pandemic like personally because um, just sharing a little bit here uh, I lived uh, by myself and the pandemic made you like you stay you know stay at home otherwise you can get the virus and you can die so that created a panic panic attack syndrome in me that i didn't have before the pandemic brought it and i have also some and with that i also have um, family health issues like with my mom so then it was just too much for me I just couldn't, there was a time that I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I can't, I can't do it. I can't work. I can do anything. I just, just want to, st if I could, I would just stop the time, stop time. And, and I just have to recover here. You know, I just have to. Uh, but you can't, right? Because life goes on you still have things to do so uh i i was pretty I, I am lucky that i have an amazing family uh, amazing friends colleagues and I have i got support from a lot of people even people that actually didn't know me that much but i shared and that's i think i know people are different i do have uh, it is easier for me i know for sh to share things than others but you do have to find, I think you have to have your safe network or some, someone uh, to rely on. You're not supposed, because I was like, okay, I, I should handle this better. I you know uh, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I actually didn't have, didn't have COVID or uh, I didn't lose my job and people were, you know, or either sick or losing jobs. So I actually was doing good, but my mind was not, my mind was like, it's gonna happen something really bad was this state of mind that I was, and it was not good. So, um, so yeah, so I, I was thinking a lot that like I should, I should handle better because I was, you know, I was lucky actually. And I was feeling guilty a lot that I, so it was just like getting worse and worse. Like, okay, I should, I, sh I, I should be able to handle this. I can handle this. I, what a failure I am, uh, you know? It becomes like a vicious circle. And actually for me, when I was going through that mentally hard time, COVID really highlighted that I was so unhappy in other areas of my life that I didn't know which way to turn. So I came out of an eight, nine year relationship. I moved the other side of the country. Um, I ended up living with my brother and his fiance with my son. And my son had no school for a couple of months. You know, so it was much more personal than it was work. And trying to balance everything, it's like, am I doing the right thing? Well, you know, you have to have a little bit of faith and you do have to have the right supportive people in your life, whether it's family members, like it was for me and my brother, um, you know, and work colleagues as well. My boss was amazing through that time. And just having somebody to talk to can help you just yes. kind of clear that brain fog. Um, yes. And I think that's what it is. We get so mixed up with being in that situation that we can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I think you're right too. I think one thing very important is to have people that support you. you 
you're not you don't have to do it alone you have to understand i think people have to understand that i have to understand that at least and but at the same time that's not all you have to also help yourself and i know it's very very um hard i'm not criticizing I, you know have other things like depression all that things that also are in you know into account sometimes but in my case me paula i realized that okay i had to do i have to do something you know maybe a little bit like you're saying i, I have i have to 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 identify what is what should, what can i change basically is that like what can I change what can I do for myself even if it's um, having more time with my friends or uh, or just going for a walk or whatever it is uh, you just have to start doing it otherwise otherwise you just I don't know it it pull, pull you back you know down like I don't know it's like it is not easy it's not easy but I don't know if I answer your question, I mean, because yeah, you did. Just... I, I really think you did, because I don't think that there is really an exact answer for it. You know, I think, mm -hmm. you know, everybody should be considerate of the person sitting next to them or the person in their company because they never know what's going on with their lives. So sure. you know, be empathetic and be nice humans. And if somebody reaches out to you, take the time to sit out, sit down and listen to them. And you know, sure. if, if you're one of those people that can't reach out, then you've got um, companies like Hospitality Action that are there to support you and know how to support um, you in mental issues and getting them resolved. So re if you can't reach out to somebody in person, reach out to a company that is there to kind of support you and knows how to deal with that. 